Welcome back to Under Par Acres. The grass around the putting green and bunker has really been greening up nice, and we've had a lot of rain lately, so we've seen a ton of progress, and things are starting to look good. Perhaps the best news right now, though, is that the house build is just about done. We're in the process of moving furniture in right now, and we'll be officially moving in next Saturday. This should be perfect timing as the seed we sowed the other week is starting to sprout really well and with all the rain we're getting it's going to be really starting to look nice as we're moving in. And by the springtime, specifically Masters Week, I expect the fairway on our backyard golf hole to really look perfect. But for right now it's time that we've got to get this bunker filled with sand and ready to use. I started off by just using the flathead shovel to redefine the edges of the bunker. There's plenty of grass seed that got in the bunker when we were sowing, and I really just want to go in and scrape out all of that leftover grass so that it's not growing through the sand. Once I've got the edges looking good, I'm going to roll out some landscape fabric and I'm going to cover the entire surface area of the bunker. I'm using the fabric for multiple reasons, first and foremost to keep any grass or weeds from growing out of the sand, but also to keep any dirt and gravel from coming up and contaminating the sand so we can keep it nice and clean. And one lesson I learned from the last bunker I built is that if you're going to use landscape fabric, you don't want to have any flaps or loose ends hanging out. So we're using a lot of landscape staples and we're cutting right above the staple and we're also stapling down all of the seams because my past experience showed that any loose end of the fabric will come up through the sand and it will drive you nuts. Once we had it complete, it was time to come out the next morning for the fun part and fill it with sand. And the bunker turned out better than I ever expected. But sure enough, I had an intruder show up overnight, but fortunately, I caught him red-handed. 
And it was finally time for the best part, which was to get in and hit a few shots to test it out. And it only took a few shots to realize that it feels perfect and it should be a great place to practice as it's big enough to hit a lot of shots out of, but small enough to require very little maintenance. Thanks everybody for watching and the next time we see you the new clubhouse will officially be open.